Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Jamie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, they're joke ones. <laughs> I give up. It's called magical. It is March 1st, and tomorrow is my birthday, and we decided to have everybody over Hi, waiting for my sister in law. Jameson here. Oh my god. Celebrate my is almost this? birthday in two months. <laughs> You're so annoying. I just want to make sure that so I love you all, my fans. Do the best. You're so annoying. <laughs> and this is my really crazy family. <laughs> Just waiting on our, my amazing sister-in-law, <laughs> the Hella Ham Mom. Hi, sister. Okay, Hella Ham. Nope. What's up? Yeah, let's let's give us this tour because this lighting is not very good right now. I like this ladder. It's so strategically placed. This is the office area. Jordan, you need to get up. <laughs> office area. Can we have a camera here? Let's use the, the nice tone. We love each other. Where all the magic happens. Lots of number twos. Well, that's a good looking mirror. Let's show it. Show that to you. <laughs> well, hello there. Show, up. Show how you dance for Kaden. I don't want to break the internet. Do it in front of the mirror. I'm not a monkey. Do it in front of the mirror. Who would you what are these dance moves? We're just waiting on the pho. The master at work. Are you exhausted? I'm so tired. I have so much work to do tonight. Really? Yeah. You do what I'm doing. I'm doing it right now. Shut right. up, Jordan. You were so stupid. Thank you so much. Thank you, a lot of hard work. Uh, yeah, okay. Come on, over here. This is what we do every morning. Why are you recording my intimate moments with my son? You are strong. You are beautiful. You are kind. You are loving. You are caring. You are courageous. You're so much more, but I just can't put it to words. You're so annoying. Thanks for coming. I need you guys. Nobody said anything. I said, thanks for coming to my birthday dinner. Nobody said anything. Gigi makes the best chocolate chip cookies of all time. They're so good. For this to focus. I've gained 25 pounds since we got married because of these cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're sweeter. You can tell, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good morning, everyone. Or actually, good afternoon. Um, it is March 3rd. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 28. It's kind of a rough day. I chose to have a really low-key birthday, and I started a part-time job that was absolutely terrible. They completely forgot that it was my birthday, and I had lunch by myself which sucks. I got this really cool new hat. Tell, tell them who uh, told you about the hat too. It's from Gurin. Gurin? How do you say it? Gurin and Rose. Gurin and Rose. <laughs> this hat company had a sample sale and Stefano is a sweetheart and he knew that he needed to get out of the office, so yeah. Right now we're going to our favorite crystal shop in Point Reyes. I absolutely fell in love with it. Super cute. I think the reason why I hated my part-time job so much is because just the vibe was so bad. And this morning I was so in the shower. <gasps> oh, I was in the shower and Stefano was like, do you want to go to a crystal shop and get a crystal for your birthday? And he just knows me so, so well. I just need some positivity in my life. And if you're not adding oh, wow. to it, then I gotta, I gotta cut you off. I think that's, I'm 28 years old and I also know your worth and know that if a company isn't treating you right or you're not gonna grow and you gave it all you got, then ditch it. 
there are so many other opportunities out there. It's a rainy, it looks like Ireland. It's really pretty over here. It's so gorgeous. The sun coming over there. Wow. Nope. I just really wanted to get the hell out of the house. I mean, I love our home. It's our little peace place, but it's also nice to go on beautiful road trips and Steph and I, from the beginning, that's all we ever really did was go on nice road trips to just kind of explore. And it's been a while since he and I have done something like that. This is how I want to spend my birthday, you know? Adventuring. We're just going for a drive. It's nice. Just going on a drive. Like, I feel like we always have, like, the best conversations while we're, you know, we aren't even listening to music. We've just been talking this entire time. And we brought our disky baby. He's a very happy pup. Gosh, look at all the chickens. Oh my gosh, they're all running. How cute. Oh, there's no kids. Kawaii! <laughs> See folks, that's how animals should be raised, just to be free. Even if we're using them for their eggs or we're gonna cook them for dinner. At least let them live a good life. Talking to Jamie and telling her the other day when I bought eggs, there were like 50 types of eggs. And one of them was like $4 for a 12 pack and it was like guaranteed to have a 10 by 10 square foot plot on grass per chicken. Her chicken. And the other ones were no guarantee. And they were raised in a hen house, which means really they're raised in cages all crammed together. In those conditions where the, the chickens are living like in cages, when they're little chicklets, they're chicklets, right? What are they called? Chicks. Little chicks. Chickle. Chickle. Gum. When they're little, oh wow, look at this. Oh, so pretty, Sagoy. So when they're little chicks, like if the chicks have like a deformity of any kind, um, even if they're too small, somebody monitors them and if they see a chick that is too small or has any deformity, they just stomp on their head and kill them. So imagine all like a warehouse full of all these chicks and your one job is to go through and see whichever ones have deformities and kill their life by stomping on them. Like, that's what you're supporting if you're buying the non-organic, free-ranged ones. And it's like, that's no, just so no, inhumane. Not free-ranged. Not free-ranged. No, you're just saying, like, the, the mass-produced eggs. That's the mass-produced eggs. We just got back. Wait, can I pee first? Okay, go ahead. I had to pee the whole time. <laughs> I forgot. So, we just Wait. got back from Point Reyes. It was just a quick trip. We went to Cowgirl Creamery and picked up so many good little cheese goodies already devoured some of this Whew. we got some really expensive but yummy jam it's a black cherry jam ooh hella bomb gouda really really good gouda and another really really good gouda so if you guys are wondering i think this has been aged for two years this gouda and this one was is from holland don't worry, all the Prager Nazis, they're all pasteurized. Supposedly when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to have unpasteurized cheeses because you could possibly get Listeria. I'm well aware. No, I, mean, no, that, I don't know, what is it? I don't know what it is either. Note to self, when you're pregnant, just don't go in a deep, dark hole of Googling or else you're gonna feel really, really oh. sad. Was that a fart? Oh, sorry. That was crazy. <laughs> We just did that. We went there. We went into a little thrift shop. I was gonna vlog it, but I've already vlogged all of this. We went to our favorite crystal shop, Spirit Matters. <sighs> My our little baby is very, 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 very happy. I'll tell them what you got you. I got you a Sonicare. Yeah. Because our other electric toothbrushes are shit. Don't buy Quip. It's Do not buy Quip. It's the Q U I P. Worst. It's a it waste of time. It's a waste of money. Spend the hundred dollars in the Sonicare. It's worth it. Your roller. Oh my God, my Jade roller. <sighs> so excited. The nurse Jamie. It has like little beads, and you just roll it against your skin like this to help reduce inflammation. I've been actually pretty swollen since I became pregnant. <laughs> I do it every morning and night since I got it, and it really does help with. Defining my jawline and my chin line. And just go on and out. You just go in. You just go in it. Go in. I have the biggest cheeks, like of all time. My cheeks are fucking huge. Yeah, um, uh, so this always helps. And I'm out of breath. Look how dreamy this little apartment is. 
I love coming home. It's just so, so beautiful. Here you go. Oh boy. <gasps> oh my god! Her hat! Ah! My Looney Cup baby blue hat! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm freaking out! <laughs> so my girl, Francesca, has her brand Looney Cup and I helped model her first collection and I wore this amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hat. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> we are on our way to like a Whole Foods beauty event in this Woodside. Gorgeous like mansion house. Oh my God, guys, this is gorgeous. Hey Gabby, do you feel like Kim K? Yes. Flowers. Such a cute little idea. A little blueberry. Hey girl! Oh. Gonna be on YouTube? You're gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. What's your handle? What's your handle? Hey! Got this beautiful spread, Whole Foods. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. Yes, queen. I'm out here eating. We're, like everyone is gone. And look at what these, look at what's going on. Show me. Look at all this goodness. You know you're Filipino when? When. <laughs> oh my God. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. unite. Yes. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Right now, this is the first time I'm leaving the house. And it's like, why my face is so swollen. I'm picking up Stefano at BART. And we are going to our 20 week, um, appointment <laughs> or 20 week OB appointment <sighs> my pregnancy brain is like I literally just woke up from a nap because I think I'm fighting the flu so yeah my face is kind of breaking out because I just hide those bad boys because I've been eating like absolute shit my cravings of sugar have like gone berserk I had two donuts yesterday plus like three huge like fudge balls that my friend Gabby made. I've just been like eating like no other. So today I made myself a green smoothie for breakfast and I've been eating like really, really healthy today and just drinking a shit ton of water because I gotta take care of myself and this baby. Like this is just out of fucking control. Right now I'm waiting for Stefano on to get off of Bart and we'll be on our way to the OB. Action. <laughs> Good afternoon, Jamie. I am your doctor, Stefano. <laughs> Aren't you having any new symptoms? I don't remember any of my symptoms. Are Are you there still any? Recording? Yeah, I don't know any of my symptoms. Do you know my symptoms? Hmm, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I just thought you'd go over there. Doing damage. <laughs> Thank you. 7333 for all of these things. That's four. That's dumpling. <laughs> Sierra's first dumpling. <laughs> I mean, soup dumpling. I'm sorry. So graceful. That was, I really fucked up there. That was, that was my bad. I'm sorry. Green beans are so good. It's probably the best green bean I've ever had. This is like a shrimp toast Chinese donut. Look at this space. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Just got done shooting um, our Femme Fair editorial photo. Look at this space, fucking beautiful. You gotta be kidding me. Good morning, it is March 11th and that is me and Steph's wedding anniversary. Two years that we've been in since we got married in front of all of our friends and family. But we actually don't count it because we eloped like a year prior, so technically we've been married for three years, but I don't know, we still celebrate both. I think every year we make it a tradition, at least last year we were in Japan, to just adventure and just get out of our like normal day to day. Today we are going to Big Sur 
It's a long drive, so we packed like a lumbar support and then a bunch of snacks. My favorite shrimp chips, clementines, some almonds, and then you can't forget the sour gummies from Trader Joe's. We're both really, really tired, but we definitely want to just get out on an adventure. We still need our coffee. And look at how swollen my face is. Where are we? We're near. We're near the Bixby Bridge. Near the Bixby Bridge. Guys, that's the water. And we are above the fog. Look how dreamy this is. It's pretty awesome. It's so cool. It's really cool. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, babe. <laughs> how many years has it been? Ten two, years. Only two in this lifetime. But we had a whole other, probably 500 years so long. Yeah. Why? All the other lives that we have. Because we're soulmates. Let's make love. Every time I feel like I just want to move and have a beautiful home outside of California, there's this. And it's so gorgeous. That pillow is supposed to be for me, but you know, you're just loving life right now. You're so cute. Stay on the road. Keep your eyes on the road. We don't need you veering off again. Me? <laughs> so, I might puke. I know. We are back at the Ulta Bates campus to do our 20 week ultrasound. Fortunately, we can't really take you in there. So, I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. We are making a Japanese hot pot, which is called Nabe. Steph is cutting up the soba. So supposedly, nabe is the meal that sumo wrestlers eat before. Nabe. What is it called? It's called chunko nabe. Chunk whatever nabe. That's what the sumo wrestlers usually eat before their, their, games. their games. And I just found out today that Stefano actually ate with a bunch of sumo wrestlers. Yep, Mike did too. That's so cool. And we were studying abroad, yeah. So Steph made the amazing broth. We're kind of just going with whatever we have. We're gonna use soba because we don't have any udon. Disky is staring at our food. We're gonna have some enoki mushrooms, some bok choy, and some carrots. And then here's some sauce and some kimchi on. It's really just a cluster of a bunch of different stuff. And then we're gonna put the soup in there. Sagoi! Hot pot. Add some of these mushies. Mmm. Let's add some carrots. Carrot. Yay! That's not, that's not bad. Maybe let it um, get more up to temperature first. We did it! Good job. <laughs> that was a bad high five. They're never really good. One more time. <laughs> you, Still you bad. Suck. Time for some very much needed yoga. <laughs> It still look fab though. This is why I feel so terrible vlogging when my friends are here because everyone just gets so awkward and quiet. And really didn't want to ruin the fucking moment. Hi, Gordon. <laughs> His name is not Gordon. It's Gordon. It is not Gordon. It's Gordon Ramsay himself. No, it's Gordon. not Gordon Ramsay. It's just Gordon. Corinne like, names all of my animals. Like Madonna. It's just Gordon. <laughs> Why is my dad? He's such a <laughs> Yay, that means I get to take him home. Oh. <laughs> Zoli, you got letter. Oh. You got him. You got him. Oh my god, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to fucking take that one off. Come on, shit! I use both my eyes. shit on top. <laughs> we got too excited. You one eye, the other eye, yeah. other color.
cute this is. Happy birthday to you. Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's really fucking cool. So <laughs> <laughs> this incognito mysterious. Hey guys, that pretty much wraps up my March vlog. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button so you can see more vlogs, more thrift hauls, more things Hella Jam. Thanks so much for watching and being part of the Hella Jam family. Peace.